producers are seeing reduced yields as a result of salinity, and we need to understand why the crops are susceptible and also need to know which crops are more tolerant so we can manage appropriately. First, let's look at a generic plant growing in a non-saline soil. If we zoom in, we can see that the plant is available to uptake water without restriction. Now, if we look at that same plant growing in a saline soil, we can see that the water uptake is reduced because of the soluble salts in the soil water. Salinity basically will put a plant into drought stress, so you often see curled leaves and stunting growth in a salt-stressed plant. Now let's look at the salt tolerance levels of different types of crops. Corn and soybean are very sensitive to salts, where an EC over two will result in reduced yields. Other crops, such as barley, wheat, sunflower, and sugar beet, are able to tolerate higher levels of salinity. However, sugar beet does not germinate well in saline soils, so you need to get the salts out of the top couple inches of soil for sugar beet to do well. Here's another way to show the effects of salinity on crops. Soybean, which is not very tolerant of salts, shows reduced yields at an EC between one to two. Barley, on the other hand, is more tolerant of salts. Though the yields are reduced at an EC greater than two, the plant is still growing. When actively managing a saline area, it is important to have something growing to use water and push the salts below the rooting zone. Using cropping systems to accomplish this is generally possible when your EC is between two and four on a one-to-one -one electrical conductivity test. You have the option to use more tolerant crops, such as barley and sunflower, in this situation. So, plant barley or sunflower, or in some cases wheat, in saline areas rather than corn or soybean. Though this increases the intensity of your management plan, if you have crop failures in these saline areas year after year, the saline areas will grow in size, so active management is critical. If the salinity is too high, where the EC is greater than four millimoles per centimeter, then you will have a difficult time getting anything to grow. So you need to look at other management options, such as subsurface drainage or returning that spot into perennial cover, for example, into CRP. Or you may need to take other areas out of production to use the water before it gets to that discharge point where the salts are accumulating. We'll talk about this in other videos.